here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to moving land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 Another beautiful day has just dawned over Moomin Valley. Oh, good, it's going to be a sunny day. Morning, Mama. Oh, good morning, Moomin. Have you seen the sun shining? Yes, it'll be splendid. Moom and Papa's outside in the garden looking for pieces of glass to look at the sun. I'm going out. Good morning, Papa. Oh, good morning. That's an old window pane, isn't it? Mm, there's always a use for things in the end. What are you going to do with it? Well, to begin with, I'm going to need to break the glass into five or six smaller pieces. That's easy. You just have to bang it against something. No, then you get tiny slivers flying all over and you step on them. Wish I had a diamond. Mm, it's tricky. Your breakfast is on the table, everybody. Mama, we want to break this into small bits. How can you do it without getting glass all over? Well, your grandma used to have a trick for that. First, she'd put wet paper on both sides. Then she'd give the paint a good tap with a hammer. Mm, how clever. Oh, I get it. All the nasty little bits of glass stick to the wet paper. Grandmothers are great. But it isn't so urgent that you have to do it straight away, is it? Mm, your mother's right. Let's have some breakfast first. OK. Hmm, clouds are forming. Oh, no. We won't see the eclipse if it's cloudy, will we? No, I guess not. Clouds, just go away, please. But will they? It's the first eclipse in Moomin Valley for 30 years. I'm too excited to eat any more. I think I'll go and get some candles, Papa. Calm down a little, Moomin. The eclipse won't be until this afternoon, and I understand they are very punctual. I know, but I just can't sit still, Mama. Do you know, I haven't seen an eclipse for so long, I've forgotten what they look like. Oh, Papa. Oh. Oh, look at the clouds. It would be an awful shame if it clouded over and we couldn't see the eclipse, you know. Yes, that's true. Oh, well, if it has to be cloudy, I'd rather it was now. Oh, it's bad on this horrible cloudy weather. But you said you'd go out now anyway, didn't you? Yes, of course. Witchcraft is at its strongest during an eclipse. Would it really make very much difference to your spells if the sun was hidden behind the clouds? It won't be. If you say so, but during an eclipse, the sun is hidden anyway, isn't it? So what's different about clouds? What sort of a stupid question is that? And you plan to be a witch? Bet you don't even know what causes an eclipse. The moon, of course. Very e clever. Excuse me, but what exactly are you going to do up there on top of the mountain? Call upon the black sun to strengthen my witchcraft, bringing me mighty power. Uh, I see. But do you need to go to all that trouble? Aren't you already good enough as it is? Of course I'm good enough, but, well, you know, just in case. 
Hmm. Time for us for a quick bowl of bat's wing soup. Some water. Yes, that ought to do. Mm. 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 <gasps> oh, nicely wow. done, Papa. And now let's wrap up all the small pieces in these. Shall I light the candle, Papa? Hmm. I don't know. What are you looking for? The solar eclipse. The eclipse won't be till this afternoon. Oh, I knew that, really. We're making these especially for looking at the sun. Do I get one? Of course. You're a pal, thanks. Here's one, Mai. If you look at the sun without one, you hurt your eyes. Eclipses can be dangerous things. Hmm. I can't see the sun through it. Oh, are you sure? Honest, this isn't any use at all. <laughs> It's no use. The sun's behind the clouds right now. Huh? Oh, I guess you're right. I hope it won't be cloudy this afternoon. Why? Because then we can't see that we can't see the sun? That's nuts. The clouds are gathering. Shouldn't you stay here? Don't be so silly. Those clouds will have to be got rid of at once. I've got to go. There's plenty of magic to be brewed up. <gasps> She's gone. Now's my chance to go over and pay a visit to the Moomins at last. Primitive people used to believe the sun went dark during eclipses because some enormous evil creature was eating it up. But how could they believe that, seeing as the sun always came out again afterwards? Yes, well, I told you they were primitive. What they did was to beat drums and stuff to scare the evil creature so he'd regurgitate the sun again. And he always did. <laughs> So, are the clouds thinning out at all? I don't think so. Oh, dear. I did so hope you'd get to see it. Oh, don't worry too much about that, Papa. After all, maybe it'll be nice and sunny for the next one. Yes, when you're my age. I'm sad about this. Oh, anything can still happen. Well, the wind might just blow the clouds away. Wind, blow them all away. I command you to blow even harder! Oh! My hat! Thank you. That's great, Alicia. Nice to see you, Snuffkin. I love this hat. Have you come to see Moomin? Yeah. Boy, what a wind. It's clearing up a little, though. You're right. That's good. Now we'll be able to see the eclipse after all. <laughs> Look at that. The sun's getting nibbled away. Wow. I don't believe it. Hey, what are you all doing with those funny-looking things? Don't you know? We're covering our eyes to look at the eclipse. Yeah, what's that? When the moon passes in front of the sun. Mm -hmm. oh. Can you really see it through that glass? Oh, yeah. I want one. Sorry, we don't have enough. So what's that you're holding in your hand? We're keeping this for when Snuffkin comes. Snuffkin? Oh, he won't be coming. I saw him go out fishing in the boat. Snuffkin wouldn't fish with the wind this strong. That's what you think. A real fisherman doesn't care what the weather's like. 
But you can't fish in a wind like this. <laughs> oh, please, just one little look. All right, but give it to Snuffkin when he comes. Yeah, okay. Hey, that's really weird. Is it really going to get completely dark? No, I don't think so. Pity! If it got really dark, it'd be super for burglars! <laughs> oh, here comes Snuffkin! <laughs> and that's Alicia with him! Snuffkin! Stinky! Uh, uh, where? Oh. Hey! Stinky! I'm borrowing this! You can have it back after the eclipse! Oh, I knew it! Hello there, everybody! Nice to see you. Oh, hello, Alicia. So, has your grandmother let you come to see us? No, but she's not home. Here, look through this. The sun's starting to get smaller. Stinky was trying to tell me just now that you'd gone out fishing in the boat. Not a chance. Never in a wind like this. Glad the clouds cleared up, Moomin Papa. Yes, it's nothing short of a miracle. Almost witchcraft. Moon, consume the sun and steal away his brightness, and cast your mighty beams down upon my spells to change them and make them strong forever. Oh, oh. 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 That already happened to me once today. Let's go back in. We can watch from there. This wind is too strong. What about Papa? Don't worry. His hat has blown off before, but he always seems to find it in the end. Oh, look, it's coming out again. A good job, too. I didn't like that darkness much. It was a bit too scary. It worked. <gasps> oh, yes, I'm sure I can feel the added power. Oh. <gasps> Yippee, I'm a super witch. Ah. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Grandma always gets excited about eclipses. She says they make her more powerful. She was really upset earlier today when she thought the clouds weren't going to go away in time. So her spells will be even stronger now? Maybe so strong that her broom will behave itself? That's what she hopes, but I don't think it's worked yet. I don't think the sun and moon even know about her, so why should they help? Seems a bit strange, isn't it, Snufkin? Yes. <sighs> Alicia! Alicia! Where have you got to? Alicia! Alicia! Hmm? Of course. Come on, Brum! This wind is nothing! Gotta move on, will ya? To Moomin House to rescue my granddaughter from the Moomins! Whoa! Alicia? No, but I think I have looked in through the window once or twice. 
Your room isn't very neat. My, what are you doing here? Weren't you playing cards downstairs just now with Snork Maiden and Sniff? I was, but she's a bad player and Sniff cheats. Come and have a look. You can see the bridge through this window. Oh! <gasps> huh? What's up? Ah! Huh? Uh, uh. Huh? Stinky! On a broom? A broom? <gasps> That's grandmother's broom he's got. Huh? Stinky! Where did he get the broom from? In the forest! Which part? I'll tell you if you just get me off this stupid thing. I'd like broom. to, but how? I don't know, but do something quick. I'm gonna be sick. I wanna get off. broom you were riding, wasn't it? Uh, yes. So what's happened to her? She's in a bush in the forest with her legs in the air and a dead faint. I think she fell off her broom in the wind. Oh, it's <gasps> awful. We have to find her. Show us where she is. Hurry, Moomin Papa! Huh. Huh. Okay. You think she's dead? No, no, she's just fainted. We should put her to bed. What about me? I'm hurt too. Oh, Grandma, speak to me. Don't worry, Alicia. Moom and Mama will know what to do. See you. I'm going. Do you really think my grandmother will be all right now, Moom and Mama? Of course. I'll go and make her some nice broth. Oh, Grandma. Is the poor lady still unconscious? Yes. I never knew witches could fall off their brooms. Looks like her eclipse magic wasn't much good. How's Alicia? She's still very worried, of course. Oh, well, at least her grandmother's in safe hands now. <sighs> Grandma, you're awake. <clears throat> Where am I? Moomin House. <sighs> Moomin. Moomin House. Uh, oh. Oh. You should be in bed. Whatever happened to me? <gasps> My broom, where is it? What have they done with it? <sighs> it won't come down because your spell is still working. Abracadabra broom, abracadabra broom. Oh. <sighs> and now we're going home, Alicia. Can you move? Of course I can. <clears throat> you really <clears throat> must lie still, Grandma. Witches don't need to. Of all the rotten things, huh? Grounded in this of all the houses, with those awful moments. Moom and Papa carried you all the way, you know. Don't. It's quite embarrassing enough without that as well. At least they can't make me eat their yucky broth. Oh, how annoying! <sighs> Are 
Are you absolutely sure your grandmother doesn't want to eat anything, Alicia? Uh, no, I'm afraid she's still feeling off her food. But she said it looked delicious. Oh, well, I'm sure she'll be ready for a bite to eat before long. I said I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat and I don't want to drink. But, Grandma, they only want what's best for you. Go away. Perhaps you'd be able to manage a little raspberry juice, though. Will you all leave me alone? <clears throat> horrible place right now and going back home. Are you better now? No, but I will be when I get back. What about me? Just go back to sleep. But I... I suppose I ought to thank the Moomins. You can do it for me, Alicia. I'm going now. You have fun with them tomorrow, here. Grandma? Man, that family is a threat to witchery. And so, for the first time, Alicia could play with the others without feeling bad about it. <laughs>